Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how a comic book shop owner goes on this epic rant on his YouTube channel and blows up overnight. The comic book channel in question here is the Comic Book Palace. So I was not aware of this channel, but this guy has got a channel where somebody just comes in, kind of plays a fly on the wall, like documentarian style, where you feel like you are in a comic shop. It's got that like feel of comic book men where you know, you're like there, you're experiencing it, you're you're one of the customers, you're enjoying this guy. Long story short, this guy goes on this epic rant, which I'm going to show you guys now, and I'm going to give you my real-time reaction to this. It was perfect. I don't want to also tell you, kid. Yeah, yeah, the Hood was a fantastic character, and then they just made him idiotic after that, and they, they, they ruined a great character. I mean, you know, the Hood comes out of nowhere, and believe it or not, that idiot Brian K. Vaughn, I believe, think, came up with the guy from Saga, the guy that can't get a book out on time, right? Um, he used to be a brilliant writer and, and a worker, but, you know, now he's just a lazy chump. So they get the hood going. He's he's a main part of the of the Marvel Universe, main part of the villains. Um, that storyline ends, he just kind of disappears. Loses parts. Then he goes after the Infinity Gauntlet gems, gets a couple gems. He's just an idiotic clown, and then he disappears, and he shows up once in a while. So I'm hoping... They do him. They they do him well in this book. They hope they do him well. Man. Very very good book. <laughs> now they just make idiotic characters most of the time. They finally got somebody good, and then they stop using them. I don't know why. Change of the guard, maybe, um, or change. You know. Well, then again, it was probably different change of writers where people don't. Uh, the writers nowadays, they don't they don't care about the characters of a what the character is anymore. Most of these new writers don't have the love of comics like these older writers had. Um, and all they care about is, how can I put myself in the book? No, we don't care what you would do if you were Iron Man. We don't care who you are. You're writing Tony Stark. You're not writing yourself in a book. If that's the case, write your own comic with you in it. No one will read it because nobody cares. Yeah. People people grew up, uh, uh, growing up loving Peter Parker, loving Miles Morales, loving all these Captain America. We don't need you to put your input in it just write Steve Rogers. Don't write Steve Rogers. What would Steve Rogers be if I was Steve Rogers? That's not how it works. But that's, again, how most of, the, most of these new people write nowadays. That's why most of the stuff is shit. <laughs> because we don't care how you would, what you would do, because we don't care about your life whatsoever. <laughs> just write a book, get paid for what you do, get paid for what you're supposed to be doing, and make it a, a good story. We don't care. We don't need your opinion. <laughs> They left this open. Oh, did they? Yeah. I think it could go again. I didn't finish it off. I was so upset when they started with that Cthulhu. When they started with that Cthulhu character. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good thanks. That's how they answered it. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can keep going. Why yeah. I've got a lot of support. I, I realize how much support I have from the from fans out there and, and creators. Um, but, I mean... No, I mean besides that, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've got a million emails. I'm still, I'm still trying, and and uh, and messages that I'm still trying to get back to people because I always answer my messages. Except there's just been tons of them coming in, and most of them positive. So, um, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm just a little more famous. Mark Miller is one of the top guys in is one of the top guys in comics, and. The fact that he, he would take enough, take time out of his schedule to defend me and actually want to do something, want to do something about it is pretty, it was, is pretty amazing. And even, you know, the support from Gail Simone, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's just as busy. Uh, I mean, the, and I mean, and I got some other messages from, from some other creators, uh, that were behind me, but I mean, they private messaged me. They didn't come out and say it because maybe they don't want the backlash that, you know, Mark Miller is getting now from some people. Um, and I thank them too. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I mean, I've always loved Mark Miller's work and I've loved the, most of Gail Simone's work too. Um, so I mean, I've always, they've, they've been, I've been a big fan of theirs and the fact that they, they come to, come to defend me. Um, I, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. It, it, it's, it's just hard to believe. All right, so there was the rant, and this has blown up on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all the socials. This guy's channel like exploded overnight. A lot of the big channels have already covered this, have already talked about this, and I wanted to throw my hat in the ring as well because this guy is absolutely right. He put this 
in a way that I've never been able to and I've never heard other people been able to because so many times you just you, you look at modern comics and you're like, what's wrong with them? And the easiest thing to say is, oh, they're woke or uh, it's poor writing or something. But that that doesn't cover what it what's really happening. And he nails it. These writers are writing themselves as Steve Rogers, as Peter Parker, instead of writing Steve Rogers or Peter Parker, the character. And I, I never thought about it that way. But they're right. They these these guys these these people that are writing today have infused themselves into the characters so much that the essence of what these characters are, the essence of Tony Stark, the essence of Steve Rogers is it's it's not there in these pages. The old guys, the guys that loved comics, the old writers, they understood that. Obviously, you know they had their opinions, they had influences that they they put into the stories, but Steve Rogers, the character, was Steve Rogers. The things Steve Rogers would do would be the things that are consistent with the character. The, the comic book palace owner, who has been in business, by the way, for 30 years, he nails this. Then everybody comes out against this guy, uh, this guy which it... it it does not surprise me. They make fun of his appearance. They make fun of uh, his hair. They make fun of his teeth. They make fun of his weight. You know, the petty stuff, the stuff, the, the low-hanging fruit. Let's, let's make fun of this guy because we, don't, we, we know he's right. We know that what he's, he's hitting on is the actual problem. Let's, let's make fun of his appearance because we're scared of what he has to say. It's, it's classic. And the most of the people that I guarantee you that are making fun of him are the same people that are fighting the, the social justice warrior good fight on Instagram. The keyboard warriors that are too afraid to show their face on camera, too afraid to show their face anywhere to actually say something like that to his face, which I guarantee you they never would. They are the people that are trying to crucify him. You know, give us Barabbas, give us Barabbas. Those are the people that would have said that. So many people have come to his uh, his aid. Now, he does address that some people have kind of slid into his DMs and didn't want to publicly say that they are in support of him, some creators. But crea big creators, specifically Mark Miller, the creator of Kick-Ass, I mean, that is like a huge writer, probably one of the top writers in comic books, has come to his, come to his aid, come to his side defending him. And I mean... Talk about somebody that's a creator going against the grain like that, going against the hive mind and saying, hey, I stand with you. I agree with you. I mean, it, it's kind of like career suicide in a way. But Mark Millar is just, I keep calling him Millar. It's Miller. Mark Miller is just like right. I mean, she, he's, he's standing with this guy and he's absolutely right. So I'm calling for everybody to go buy Mark Miller uh, uh, trade paperbacks, Mark Miller single issues, Mark Miller omnibus, go watch Kick-Ass again. I mean, we got to support this guy because, I mean, he, he's one of the good guys. You, you know how pathetic, you know how sad it is that you have to live in fear of thinking this way, thinking, um, you know, agreeing with this mindset as opposed to going with the hive mind. I mean, you have to live in fear of, of saying those thoughts and emotions. It's, it's, ter it's terrifying. It's, it's, it's horrifying that you have to agree with the, the, common the, the common collective of the hive mind or else you get crucified. I love this guy's channel. I instantly subscribed, commented on these video on both of those, uh, the reaction video and the original video. I, I love that channel. That, that channel encapsulates what it feels like to go to a comic book shop, a long-standing comic book store, you know, the owner gives a crap about the comics, he's read the books, he wants to talk shop. This is what I want from an LCS experience. I wish I lived close closer to there because I would patronize that every week. Guys, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. And if at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.